It's the most um, important document of American popular music ever filmed. Um, and we have this unique uh, viewpoint uh, to watch what is one of the great rhythm sections in the history of rhythm sections. Uh, one of the great choirs, uh, James Cleveland, Aretha Franklin, and we get to watch how they made a record and um, from start to finish. It's completely unique to any other experience that I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of them, you know. Listen, baby. I think it's sort of like a parting gift, is how I think of it. Um, it's it's going to be a good part of her legacy. I think it's an opportunity for people who have not seen her um, perform gospel music to see her in that element. They're used to seeing her on stage doing her um, the pop and, and R&B. So I think this is an opportunity for them to see her in a different light and sort of her last gift to the people. It's unbelievable just seeing her in her raw form because we've seen her perform on stage. We've seen all that. But to see how humble she was at the church, and that's where she grew up in the church. So to see how humble she was and her God-given talent coming alive in front of you, mm -hmm. her voice was as clear then as it was as she got when she got older. But just being able to listen to it and take all of it in because every song she had had a meaning and it made you feel some kind of way and you know even though she had passed she's passed away seeing her up on a stage brought her back to us again and it's unfortunate that aretha is no longer with us uh, although she loved the film it does give us, I think, a tremendous joy knowing that we get to share this with the entire world and they get to see this part of Aretha that some people aren't very familiar with.